G'day guys, welcome back to the fourth player profile. Today I'm going to discuss a bloke who was a very bad man today, and that's Christian Petrarca. He went nuts against the Crows today, and it's got us all thinking. The bloke could be at F3, and he's only 1% of sides as I speak. No doubt that number's going to go off over the next couple of weeks. Now, Petrarca has just been the tease of the last few years. Ever since 2017, he's been that bloke that we just have considered but haven't quite been able to put in our side because he hasn't been playing midfield. Today, he played full-time midfield against the Crows, and Goodwin said to Fox in an interview at quarter time that he will play a lot more midfield this year. He had 22 disposals, 15 of them contested at halftime. 99 ranking points as well to go along with it. Another comment I heard today was Jared Healy, a Fox Footy commentator, said, what's more important, Petrarca's 10 disposals in the forward line or he's 25 in the midfield? And he, he immediately answered that he'd be better off in the midfield and then compared him to Dustin Martin, which is a massive, massive statement in my opinion. He's had a huge preseason. Uh, just been looking at his Instagram. He looks like a fucking cement bag. And yeah, pretty hot on him at the moment. Uh, the excitement's just kicking in. We finally got this bloke playing in the midfield. Let's hope it can stay. Let's hope his job security is good, which brings me on to my next sort of statement. There is the Brayshaw factor. Now, Angus Brayshaw did not play today. Does he limit Petrarca's job security when he comes back? I'm not sure. The way he played today, I very much doubt it. He was impressive. He couldn't have done anything more to ask for that mid-time this year. He has definitely proved enough. Now, Christian Petrarca, he obviously led their goal kicking last year, which is a great effort in a bad year for the Demons. But he needs to give that shit up and play in the midfield. We all know it. He's way better than that. Today is a total. He had 38 disposals, kicked three goals. 27 of those disposals were contested, if you don't mind. And he played a full 86% time on ground. So I'm not, I'm not sure about his super coach points here. I couldn't find it. But he scored 145 fantasy Supercoach points is a pro probably a lot more than that. I'd say about 160, 170 maybe even because of all those contested possessions. He was pretty effective as well. He was kicking about, oh, his disposal was about 75% efficiency. So he was very good today. He's proved that he can run out a full game. If that isn't enough for him to be playing midfield round one and onwards, I'm not sure what will. He's 441k and I'm all over him. I've got he and Dawson in my side as you can see. That's making that forward line look a lot better. Now, Petrarca's averages in the last few years. 2019, he scored 81. 2018, 81 also. 2017, 78. And 72 in his first year of footy. What's he going to score in 2020? Very unsure. But even worst case scenario, 81 in 2019. You'd, not that you'd take that, but it's not catastrophic. If he can boost that to 100... We've got a keeper, but I think his ceiling's a lot higher than that. He's proved it today. Um, yeah, such a good game. Let's hope he can keep this up. I'm not sure how long he can for. But yeah, signs looking pretty good for the Demons. They poleaxed the Crows in today's Mars series. So yeah, plenty to look forward to, and I just hope more players like this keep surprising us. So yeah, um, that's all for me. That's my um, second player profile today. I'm going to start hammering through them as this Mars series continues. And yeah, I think that's all I got on Petrarca for now. Signs look absolutely brilliant, but um, yeah, plenty more to come on that one. So yeah, that's all for me, guys. And yeah, we'll see you guys very soon in the next video.